Okay, so here we go again. This is a third shower pan leak test uh, video. Well, there's a couple to each. There's when we fill it up and then when we check it. This is the master bathroom. This is when we check it. You can see the water on the tape measure. About one inch, oh, maybe one and a quarter or one and an eighth. Um, and the pennies are about an inch and a half high. So we've definitely lost some water over the last 24 hours. You can see down in here, it's real still, so it's not leaking out through there. This shower is one of three showers in a house, and it's a great test case, you know, because it's had problems since it was installed. We've checked inside the plumbing, everything seems all right. We thought it was the shower doors that were leaking. We can't seem to figure it out, but look at the water damage. There's clearly water moving in and around the shower, as far as we can tell. And look at this. Um, look at this flooring. This is bamboo flooring, and now, that's pretty darn obvious that there's water damage, but is it coming from the plumbing? Is it coming from the shower pan? Or is it coming from some other source? Well, if you look at the back of the shower wall, right, it looks like it's spreading from at least that wall. See how it's moving out along the wall? Um, and, you know, it's a real... Uh, blessing in one way to see all the damage if you were to buy an investment property or to buy an apartment building right the seller is going to replace this floor and you're going to walk through they're going to clean up that wall and you're not going to know that that shower pan's leaking so if I were you I would definitely check as part of my property inspection I would want a shower pan test but that's a 24-hour test most in, uh, home inspectors slash uh, won't do that unless you specifically go out for that and you're going to pay extra for it. But it could be really worth it. Now, this water is moving from here. See the water, water marks here. This water is moving along the tile floor and it's definitely showing up other places. Okay? That water is going to flow across the slab. This is slab on grade, so it's underneath and around the tile. Right? Now, maybe not under the tile, but definitely around it. It's moving around it, it's moving under walls, and it's moving under hardwood floors, etc. And we're not totally sure where it's coming from, but definitely this shower pan is losing water. It's leaking. And this is a shower put in not but a year ago, or two years ago, and it's taken a lot of damage. It looks maybe 15 years old, maybe, uh, functionally speaking, because of the water damage going on. And this was put in by a licensed contractor, and presumably a licensed subcontractor that did the tile work. So, we don't know much except for the fact that this is a pretty common event. If you go by in apartment buildings and they've got 40 units in it and each one has two baths and you've got showers in there, you're going to need to do some serious due diligence to figure out what situation the, the building's really in. And you want to know that going in. It's okay if you know that it leaks, but you want to make sure that's accounted for in the price. Well, so here you go. The third shower test. This one's for the master bathroom. 